right, so the first thing that I want to share, tip number one when it comes to bouncing back from a cheat day, the first thing that I would suggest is to um, not do the thing that we all do. I've done it myself. I've done it for years before I grew to this point. I'm asleep. What do you want? Why is you all in my face? Back up off me, man. Like, I'm I'm literally asleep and you all in my grill, bro. Like, please, like, give me a minute to wake up. Like, what are you doing? Who let you in? I'm going back to sleep, bro. Give me some space, man. What is y'all doing? Hell. I guess you're not gonna let me sleep. Yeah, I done busted my house. I guess I gotta do a video for you guys today. At least, at the very least, like the video. Subscribe to the channel, you know what I'm saying? What is you doing in my crib if you're not subscribed? Make sure y'all smash that bell too. Turn on post notifications, you know, every single time y'all bust in my crib and request for me to do a video, the very least that you can do is be notified. If I'm gonna get up and give you guys some content, the least you could do you know what I'm saying? It's to support the movement. It's a positive vibe. So I guess today we're going to be doing a um, how to recover from a cheat meal or a cheat day the day before. If y'all haven't seen that video, it's the one right before this one. Go check that one out. We had a cheat day and um, today is the very next day. And I guess I'll be sharing with you guys how I personally go about like, can you back up a little bit? Like I said, I guess today I will be sharing with you guys um, how I go about recovering. Come on, man. Y'all being rude. I'm not a morning person whatsoever. Can y'all at least allow me to get up, wash my face, brush my teeth, things of that nature. But I do appreciate you guys, by the way. So um, y'all go ahead and wait in the hallway, man. Let me get myself together, all right? All right. Go, go hang out in the hallway. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Man, hey, look. I will meet you guys after the intro. I'm officially getting up. Strength squad, we in the building. Got me tripping up off of things. But um, we in the building. And I want coffee. And I want coffee right now. Strength Squad General back in the building with another lit vibe. So yesterday, um, if y'all seen my last video, which I strongly encourage you guys to go check it out, um, we had a cheat day, right? So especially for people who um, is on this fitness mission like myself, or even if you're not, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's not considered a cheat day, you just want to pretty much just get on your grind when it comes to your health and fitness goals. But in general, we're speaking specifically to the people who observe cheat days, have cheat meals, things of that nature, and you're trying to figure out what's the best strategy to getting back on track when it comes to your goals. Like, I just had a cheat day um, myself personally yesterday, and you probably encountered the same ordeal, or you're new to fitness, and you're trying to figure out how you can fit in cheat days, sneak in cheat days, 
in between your grind and actually uh, get back on the ground when it comes to the following day how do we get back activated how do we actually go about the day after our cheat day how do we bounce back so today I decided to come through with a video on this topic sharing five um, things that help me personally everything that I'm sharing with you guys are things that I do so you know if anybody out there disagree with me just know everybody's different and this is what works for me and of course there's somebody out in the world who probably could relate to me so if you relate to me and if these approaches work for you then this is the one for you or if you're just having a hard time trying to figure it out then try these five things that help me out and perhaps maybe you too can make some progress when it comes to your fitness goals i personally enjoy taking you guys along with me on my journey my life journey not just fitness journey but this is a lifestyle channel but you know what i'm saying specifically in this particular video i like taking you guys along my journey and um yesterday guys um we're not always going to be perfect yesterday i had the intentions of working out it didn't work out and I'm giving it to you guys transparent I could have easily lied to you guys and said yeah you know we had a beast mode workout session but keep in mind this is a lifestyle you're not gonna always uh, hit the nail on the head there will be days when you have setbacks and just know that it comes along the ground and it's okay to acknowledge them you know what I'm saying like I'm not one of those type of people who um, don't necessarily expose the fact that you know we're not always on it I would li I like to keep it real with you guys and transparent because this is a real life journey this is a real life grind and I'm sure that I'm resonating with real life life people all right but anyway let's get into this video before we do anything like the video subscribe to the channel make sure you turn on post notifications so that you can be notified every single time we come through with this content all right it's always a lit vibe all right so the first thing that i want to share tip number one when it comes to bouncing back from a cheat day and i know everybody's journey is different some people are um in different seasons in their journey so if you've passed this phase or if this just isn't something that you deal with then understand that some people do right and i'm speaking to those people but the first thing that I want to say when it comes to bouncing back from a cheat day or if you're just now getting started when it comes to getting on your grind because it's kind of the same the first thing that I would suggest is to um, not do the thing that we all do I've done it myself I've done it for years before I grew to this point um, don't beat yourself up bro like do not beat yourself up um, for the mistakes that you may have made if you just get started and after you observe your cheat day don't look down at your waistline and start to develop this guilt trip and don't start feeling bad for yourself don't go so hard on yourself man take it easy on yourself do not beat yourself up um, and I know it's a lot of people who deal with it again I dealt with it myself I used to all the time I knew cheat day was coming I knew cheat day was approaching we made time for this we earned this we've been making progress and we pretty much put it on the calendar to observe this cheat day and then once our cheat day get here we either go crazy with the calories or um, indulge a bit and then afterwards we beat ourselves up stop beating yourself up all right I encourage you to take it easy on yourself do not panic just know that it can be undone like this is not something that cannot be fixed um, when it comes to fitness it don't matter how many times you broke it you know what I mean it don't matter how many times you messed up on your diet it don't matter how like whatever the case may be it can be corrected and keep in mind this is a lifestyle you know what I'm saying it comes with the territory just like setbacks come with the territory having occasional cheat days and enjoying life you know what I'm saying ice cream is a part of life enjoy it occasionally so the moral of the story is take it easy on yourself know that every problem comes with a solution and this one specifically specifically can be corrected it can be fixed the next point that I want to make number two is to take advantage of your cheat days now I know a lot of people man psychologically we look at it like man it's a setback oh my gosh it's a setback like I just messed up all of the gains that I made all of the progress that I made now we have to do double time and do overtime to get back on the grind but in all actualities guys you can actually take advantage like cheat days can actually set you up for success you can actually benefit from having cheat days and i'm not going to get too specific into all of the benefits but i'm just going to point one out that is um something that i think everybody will be able to understand all right keep in mind when you have cheat days that means that you know nine times out of ten your fat intake was spiked your uh carb intake was spiked um you wasn't tripping off of protein but there's some protein in there but the moral of the story the point that I'm trying to make is you got to understand these carbs is considered fuel the fat is considered fuel and it is stored in your glycogen which means this is stored energy that is preserved in your system waiting for use so instead of sitting there moping not doing anything about it this is your prime opportunity to take advantage of making gains go straight to the weight room and lift because um if let's just say you're dieting of course when you're dieting um you're going to lose some energy somewhat especially if you're restricting your calories restricting your carbohydrates at some point you know some 
days you're gonna feel like, man, this is work. Now mind you, you have all this glycogen, all this fuel, all this energy in your system. The best advice that I can give you is to take that right to the gym and make gains. Make some gains, go to the gym with all that energy. If you ever notice, after cheat days you feel the strongest, it's because you have so much energy. You have energy in the tank, so why not take advantage of that energy and make the best of it? Personally, I recommend doing a little bit of both, get some strength training in, as well as some cardio to, you know, knock back a few calories. But take advantage of it, guys. So when you, the next time you have a cheat day, just look at it like, you know what, I have extra fuel in my system to, you know what I mean, take it to the gym and burn some calories and make some gains, build some muscle. You know what I'm saying? So it actually can work in your favor, all right? Tip number three, guys, is get back to work. What were you doing before you had a cheat day? You know, a lot of times people overthink it. Well, I don't know what to do. Maybe I have to um, skip a day of eating or, you know, just drink water all day, eat crackers and cheese. What were you doing? If you, like, let's say you were dieting, right? What were you doing before you actually had a cheat day? You was in the gym. You was grinding. You was monitoring your calories. You was ensuring that you were staying in a deficit. You know what I'm saying? You was basically grinding. So after you have your cheat day, hit the reset button and act like it never happened and get back to the grind when it comes to your calories, when it comes to your training. A lot of people complicate things or look at it as a complicated matter when in all actuality, it's really not rocket science and it's not as complicated as a lot of people think that it is or as it may appear to be. It's really not that deep. All you gotta do is just get back to what was working. Get back to staying in a calorie deficit. Get back to doing your cardio. Get back to your regular routine. You ain't gotta skip eating for the next few days because you feel like that's the best approach no continue eating like you were continue training how you train and just act like the cheat day didn't happen and just continue to keep doing what you was doing before the cheat day actually occurred tip number four guys is um, I strongly recommend you guys to drink plenty of water I right? so um, a lot of the times like in myself in the past you know you feel like you ate all this food and now I'm fat and it don't work like that you will not get fat after eating one cheat day. Like, it don't matter how many calories you ate. One day of eating bad does not make you fat. No matter how bloated you feel, no matter in your mind psychologically you feel fat because you just ate all these calories, it don't matter if you basically did a 10,000 calorie challenge, it's gonna set you back, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna set you back, but you will not be fat. You know what I'm saying? Like, so please get that out of your mind. One day of having a cheat day or a cheat meal is not going to make you fat, all right? So get it out of your head. The reason why I'm encouraging you guys to drink water during this period especially is because that feeling that you think in your mind is fat. No, that's actually, you're bloated. You're bloated because of the extra calories, because of the extra sodium. And it's gonna take some time for that water to get out of your system. So drink plenty of water which will encourage all of that sodium, that bloating, to get up out of your system a little sooner than later. But it don't make you fat, guys. Having a cheat day, it don't work like that. It's the process of doing the same thing over and over in any direction. So if your eating habits is horrible every single day or more often than less, then of course that will contribute to you gaining some fat. And if you're consistent when it comes to your diet and your training, then of course that will contribute to you pretty much, you know, having a decent physique and being healthy. So again, one day of eating bad will not make you fat. Just like one day of going to the gym going beast mode will not make you strong you know what i'm saying like you got to do it on a consistent basis to get the results that you want either way you look at it. all right so the last point that i want to make you know now you're like oh okay don't beat myself up or take advantage of the workout drink plenty of water so i could pretty much have a cheat day whenever i want no this brings me to point number five which is monitor your progress before you have another cheat day after your cheat day perhaps step on the scale and see how much damage you did see how much of a setback it was by the end of the week step on the scale and see is this scale going in the direction that i wanted to go um do i deserve having another cheat day if i made no progress during the week should i be having a cheat meal again this weekend so for example let's just say your goal is to lose weight personally i would recommend taking a healthier approach instead of trying to you know lose 10 20 pounds per week something crazy i would recommend still getting your calories and you still want to charge your body up you still want to be strong and sturdy and healthy during this whole venture guys so I personally recommend between losing one to three pounds of body weight weekly so step on the scale at the end of the week and see you know if you've made any progress and if you have made progress that's good kudos to you even though you made progress that don't mean it's a reason to cheat you know what I'm saying sometimes maybe skip that week so that you can continue to make more progress because what you could do is actually set yourself up by having a cheat day and still having a hard time getting beyond those three pounds um, that you actually lost because you have a cheat meal every single week so my opinion um you know again monitor your progress at the end of the day it all 
all really boils down to um, your goals, what it is that you're trying to accomplish, and just be real with yourself. You know, like, can I afford to, you know, have another cheat day, or do I want to continue to make progress? Just monitor everything that you're doing, your calorie intake, everything, guys. Monitor it before you decide to take on another cheat day. And so that's pretty much it, guys, man. If you appreciated the video, please drop a like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for more content, because we definitely bring it content all right as always do what brings life to you do not let those don't let those words go over your head i'm trying to tell you i said at the end of my videos for a reason let it marinate do what brings life to you and it's a great chance that you'll bring life to whatever it is that you do continue to stay on your ground continue to stay on your purpose stay positive through everything all right strength squad to the next video you already know one love let's get it